What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We don't even have to say anything. You guys already know we're hopping back on that ranked double ladder, but today we are rocking out with an Eternity team that features Alolan Ninetales and two of my favorite Pokemon to use on the ranked double ladder, which is Gyarados and Scizor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, support me as a copy creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, I don't know what you're doing here. Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me and watches up on these videos. But yeah, today we're rocking out with Eternatus. This team looks pretty, pretty strong and pretty meta at the same time and a lot of fun and a little off meta as well. I don't know. I just think this team's going to be a blast use on the rank ladder. And I think we're going to get some wins with it as well. But getting started with our restricted mod Eternatus. I think we only used him one time for Series 10 in the past, and he's actually really, really strong. So hopefully we get to showcase him and uh, show him to his fullest potential yet again. Pressure is his ability. Black Sludge gets some HP at the end of every single turn. Then we got Cosmic Power, Recover, Flamethrower for coverage, and Sludge Bomb for our stab move. One thing I do wish is we were rocking Dynamax Cannon, which is his huge Dragon stat move. It is super strong, and I think every Eternatus should be rocking with it. But we'll see how this one plays out and see if we can still dominate with this Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be Alolan Ninetales, and this Pokemon is going to be solid, especially in this meta. This meta is ran by Kyogres and Groudon and just Weather Control, so having this Ninetales on the team can prevent a lot of that, so we can take Weather Control and kind of just control the battle from there. We got the Snow Warning for the Hail, Focus Sash as his item, and then we got Protect, Blizzard, Aurora Veil, and Moonblast for the moveset. Pretty awesome moveset for this Pokemon, cannot go wrong with it. Middle left is going to be our first of two Intimidate Pokemon, and that is going to be Landris. Landris is rocking out with that Rocky Helmet for his ability, so or not ability, for his item, so anytime any physical attacker hits us, they're going to take a little bit of damage, and I kind of like the Rocky Helmet. I think it's pretty good, and it comes in clutch in certain situations. We got Earth Power for our stab move, Rock Tomb, U-Turn, and Stealth Rocks to set up against opposing teams. Right next to him is going to be Regilecki. Great Pokemon all around, really good for speed control as well with the E-Web. We also have Protect, Full Switch, and Thunderbolt for its three other moves, and then Magnet as its item. Bottom left is going to be our second Intimidate Pokemon, so yep, we're rocking two Intimidate Pokemon. Physical attackers like Zacian are huge in this meta, so Intimidate could just take them out of the game instantly. We got Intimidate, Assault Best for its item, and then we got Waterfall for Stab, Power Whip for our huge coverage move, Icy Wind for a bit more speed control for the team, and Crunch for another coverage move. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be a heavy hitter. And when I say heavy hitter, I mean heavy hitter. We got Choice Band Technician Scizor. This thing hits like a truck. I used it multiple times in videos in the past. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure you keep an eye out for this Pokemon. This thing hits hard and it can take out Pokemon left and right. We got Bullet Punch for first turn priority. Dual Wing Beat for our coverage move. U-turn for stab. And then Thief. I think Thief just takes items. That's pretty cool. I never really see Scizor rocking with it. So hopefully we get to show that off and showcase a new move on the channel. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Eternatus, Choice Band Scissor, and Gyarados team. Hopping into battle number one, looking for a win to get this video started. And we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Faramosa, Mimikyu, Volcarona, and then he's got the big old roll boom that thing's a beast and Tapu Fini for his final mod. So he can go into Trick Room with the Mimikyu and get the uh, Ice Rider Calyrex, but. He could also speed swap with the Faramosa, which could be a problem. Which could definitely be a problem. That leads me to actually want to set up a uh, Aurora Veil. Hmm. I could go Scizor turn one. Scizor wouldn't be bad at all. Go Ninetales and Scizor just to get rocking out. Actually, let's rock out with an Intimidate Pokemon for turn one. I could actually not even bring Ninetales in here. Go Intimidate first turn. But he does have a lot of physical attackers. Let's say I bring Gyarados here. Instead of Landers, because Ice just kind of tees off on that. Yeah, so we'll go Gyarados, and then I'm thinking Regilecki. I could have double speed control. It's really whatever I want. Well, I could bring double Intimidate just turn one. It'd be good. But I definitely need speed control, which I might not even bring Regilecki. I might just go these two. Because he has Icy Wind on himself, and then bring Scizor and Eternatus in the back end. I feel like I need Scizor. I feel like Scizor is just... Eternatus can work out really, really well. But I could go double Intimidate. Hmm. So we just go with this one. Okay, we just do this. Yeah, let's go. We got three seconds back. We gotta choose, but guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are you guys' favorite typings? Actually, give me top three favorite typings of all time in any Pokemon game. I guess this game has all the typing, so I guess in this game. But for me, I really always like Grass and Water. They've always been like two of my favorites, and I also really like Steel. I feel like Steel is very underrated and is super strong in the game. I feel like everyone loves Dragon, so that's just like a cliche answer, but uh, I really do like all those moves. I really do. Or all those typings. 
But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he is going to go Mimikyu into... He's going to go Mimikyu into a Calyrex here. And Intimidate is going to be big. Intimidate is going to be big. So instead of Speed Control, he might drop an Icy Wind. I might just U-turn out. So I get off another Intimidate later. And I might just set up an Award Bell. It might be my turn. Ice is going to help him out just a little bit. I do not have U turn, but I do have Crunch. Super effective on the U. Which I think he's protecting. I really do think he's just going to protect. I could Icy Wind. Uh, I, do I Crunch over there? Or do I maybe go for a Splinch here? I think he's going to protect. I'm just going to set up an Overbell. I think he's going to protect and set up a Trick Room. No, he does not, so I couldn't just Crunch on anything. He is minus one, which is great. It's great news for us. We get the Roar Bell set up. We're actually going to drop a nice big old Waterfall over here. And see how this does. We're going to take off the Disguise, and I wonder if they can flinch through Disguise. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Because it is a decoy. It's really not hitting the Pokemon. So, we'll see how this one plays out. This was just a straight-up Glacial Lance in turn one, and I'm cool with that. I think that's easy to use for the boys, especially now that he's minus one. And I really want to see what this Mimikyu is going to do. This Mimikyu Trick Room, and he's got to be. Oh, we can flinch through it. Oh, baby! Oh, baby. He can flinch. So I think we might double down in them. Because we eat up all day. I think I might just double down into him. Go into my crunch. But I think we're saving that. I think we're doubling down in the Mimikyu. Dropping this and dropping my Blizzard at the same time. Just to look for a freeze. Just look for a freeze. And it is 100% hitting. So we might as well take advantage of it with inhale. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn for us. The waterfall coming up big with a flinch. They're getting off some nice damage on Mimikyu. And I think this waterfall should be able to just take this thing out. Right? Nice little stab move there. And we don't get it. We don't get it. He drops a will o -Bus And it misses. That's huge. That's huge. And Calyrex drops the Trick Room. So Calyrex ends up dropping the Trick Room. I'm cool with that all day. Um, He's really not going to be able to kill me here. He's really not going to be able to kill me. So I think we just double down. We just double down. We definitely got to go here. Into you. And then... Do I protect? I think I just drop another Blizzard. Because he's not, he's not taking me out. We have Intimidates on two physical attackers. Which is good. Hmm. He's gonna burn me. We already see that coming. We already see the burn coming. The will was popping out from the Mimikyu before he goes out. And in that case, I might just swap the characters and use him solely for his uh his intimidate. If I get off some big damage on this Calyrex, that could be huge. We just can't really allow him to get kills. He can go straight up for Shadow Sneak. Oh, and he's gonna proc policy. He's gonna proc policy, and this could really change the game here. He's rocking a policy here. That's a smart little play there. But now he's only plus one, which works out in our favor, and I still don't see him really taking out our Pokemon. Let's see. Can my boys survive here? Come on, both you guys survive. Eat up all day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big eat up all day. Big eat ups. Punch comes through here, chomping away, doing some damage. And that is only coverage. And maybe we can get this freeze. Freeze would be lovely. Freeze would definitely be lovely. And I think we're fine. I think once we're able to roll out with our uh with our scissor, we can hit that thing hard and pretty much take it out. But there goes my Gyarados. That's fine. I'm going to be able to bring out Scissor here. And I think that my Nightcrawl should be able to get off another turn. The Scissor with the Choice Band? And the Bullet Punch? Better watch out. You better watch out. We'll save the turn just for when Trick Room ends. And I think we should be fine. That's what's so good about Scissor. Like, even in Trick Room, he has first turn priority moves. I could just deal damage. Well, huge amount of damage. It's going to be Stab. It's going to be super effective. It's going to be Choice Band. It's going to be Technician. Like, the amount of boost that this thing gets is ridiculous. It's just so, so strong. He's going to end up dropping out the Will Boom. Uh, hmm. Do I swap? I can't swap. He's going to fake me out. He's going to fake me out. And he's going to take out my scissors. Oh, that's tough news. That's super tough. And I wonder who he's going to fake out. I mean, he's got to fake out me, right? Still got to go for this. Hmm. We're going to go for this. Please don't fake out my scissor. Leave my scissor alone. He fakes out. My scissor, no! Leave him alone! We flinch. He's gonna go for another Glacial Lance. Can we eat this? Scissor, eat this. You have the War Bell. I need you to eat this this turn. I need him to eat this. Eat it up all day. Love you, scissor. Love you, scissor. All day, baby. Okay, so he's gonna get that boost. Um, I really think we're, we're doing good here. I really think we're fine. Considering I can just bullet punch, finish off the Calyrex easily. And I think a Sludge Bomb could do enough damage to take out that little as well. I'm really liking that. And I don't see a grassy guy taking me out of here. I'm digging this. I'm digging this all day. 
I'm digging it all day. Let's go. Let's go. We got our two heavy hitting Pokemon in our back end. We can definitely win this game. Trick Room's about the way out. How much time is left in the Trick Room? How much time is left in Trick Room? It might be one turn, but I'm not worried about the Calyx. We take him out in one hit, no problem. There's two turns left, though. Now you're going to protect this turn. We can take him out all day in one hit. Then I think a Sludge Bomb is a perfect move to fly across here. Or we could use Cosmic Power. Cosmic Power is really cool. Laser defense stats. But there's just no need for it. Let's go into a Sludge Bomb. Let's try to get out of this Roll Boom and rock off from there. Let's see. Let's see what this guy wants to do here. I mean, if he protects Calyrex, he does not. Okay, so he's dead. Get him out of my game. Don't want him here. Don't need him here. Get him out of here, dude. Scizor is here to play. He's here to play. We get that off. And can he turn just go before Roll Boom? He's going to go straight for Wood Hammer. We should be able to eat that up. All day. All day, Scizor. Love me some Scizor. Love me some Scizor. So that's why I'm going to fly through here. Does this KO? Brings are pretty low. Give me a poison. Ooh. Give me that poison, baby. All day. All day. Okay, so the hail stops. He's going to take poison damage, which is going to neglect the, uh... Definitely going to neglect the, uh, what's called damage. Or the HP that he recovers from the terrain. That's huge. That is huge. One more turn left in Trick Room. So depending on who he throws out here. I mean, I'm definitely probably just going to Bull Punch. And try to get rid of this Roll Boom. But we shall see. It's going to be Bull Corona. I'm liking where we're sitting, baby. I'm liking where we're sitting. So, in this case, I could just bull punch. I mean, I have to bull punch. That's that's my, my move. But we're going to go into this real boom, and I think we just get after this uh, Volcarona. We just get after this Volcarona, right? I can definitely see a grass guy coming into my scissor, but we eat that up all day. Yeah, there's your grass guy. We eat that up. It's a tasty snack. Let's do a turn with this, yo. Get that real boom out of my game. We don't want him here. Scissor clutching up. He's so good. He is so good. I can definitely see him going down here to, like, a heat wave, but... It's all good. Oh, he's going to Quiver Dance. He's going to Quiver Dance. So he's going to let my Scissor get off another shot. He's going to boost his special attack and his special defense. That's totally fine. I'm going to be able to drop a nice little Sludge Bomb. Can we get a Poison on this thing? Give it to me. No Poisons. No Poisons. So we're definitely still going to Bull Punch. And we're just going to constantly try to get at first Pokemon. And keep dealing damage to this thing. There's no need for me to protect him. I'm at 240 HP. I'm trying to think here. What is going to be super effective to our nice little Poison type over here? Actually, you know, let me pull up a chart here. Sometimes I forget. Let me pull up a chart here. That's what's good about having having two monitors. I can pull up a chart. Yeah, I have my chart right here. Should be fine here. Should be fine here. It's only grounded psychic that's going to be super effective to poison. And it's, I, I thought maybe that bug would be, but I think we're fine. I think we're thriving here. Still got to go into our, our bullet punch here. Get that over there. And then just uh, sludge bomb across again. Yeah. Have a nice little sludge bomb. He's going to be a bit faster than us. Well, at least my scissor. And I think he's just going to drop a heat wave. But yo, still good amount of damage there. Slowly chipping away. He's going to Quiver Dance yet again. And that might be a bad play. The double Quiver Dance. I think this is like his last ditch effort. Because you know, I'm going to get this poison here. Watch this. Watch this lovely poison. Watch this lovely poison. Oh, we didn't get the poison. And he triggers his berry. So we knew we had a berry the whole time. I can bullet punch and just drop another sludge bomb. He might protect. He might protect this time. Do I think he's going to protect? That's my real question. We know he takes me out instantly. We know he takes me out instantly. The uh, scissor, at least. He'll take me out instantly with the heat lead. Four times super effective. He's plus two. Just doing some big damage. Bull Punch going to fly through here again. Chipping away on him again. Get some nice lovely damage. And is he going to go for another Quiver Dance? He's going to go. Here comes Heat Waves. I need a Poison here. That's ripping on my scissor. He turned his eats up really, really well. Really, really well. But again, he gets that special defense move. So Poison would be very, very good for me. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Give it to me. Yes! Third time's the charm, baby! Alright, that's GG's. That's GG's. He's not going to be able to recover up enough HP to actually take me out. And he can't deal enough damage. We're sitting at base 240, which is a lot of HP when not Dynamax. That's a lot of HP. That is a lot of HP. So we're getting started off very, very strong here. He's going to take first shot on me. We're going to be able to eat it up and take him out with a sludge bomb. Get this fool out of here. Get him out of here. Actually, does Quiver Dance boost special defense? I feel like it doesn't. We've been dealing the same amount of damage. No, it does. We've just, been, we've just been dealing a good amount of damage. Let's just sludge bomb up again. Let's say GG. And say GG. Is he going to cancel battle? No, he's going to struggle bug. He's going to bugs of struggle. And that's easy eats for you, boy. That is easy eats. All day. Special attack drop. Sludge bomb still going to be able to KO him. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. GG's first battle going to your boy. We dominated with that scissor and he turned his in the final rounds and grabbed ourselves that win.
Come on, man. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Granted, he's probably pushing really, really high in the ranks. This guy's using a amazing, very, very strong Kyrie King. If we could beat this with the team that we have, that'd be pretty nuts. That'd be pretty nuts, but I just don't see us win this one. Kyogre is just too strong, especially with this uh, Serene over here. Takes away first turn priority. Urshfru's amazing. He also has the Tornados who can set weather and could also... Uh, Take speed control with Tailwind. Then he has the Regilecki, Absolute Beast, and Weavile, who's super, super strong. I was tempted to actually use this team in today's video, but I was like, nah, let's rock out with a different team. Let's rock out with a little bit of off-meta slash meta team and uh, get after it that way. But, of course, we versus one is going to bite us in the butt, and hopefully we can win it. Uh, how do I do this one? Regilecki could definitely come in turn one. I think Regilecki is a must with turn one. I think it's a must. Probably has fake out on the Weavile, so we got to watch out for that. Uh, we go Regilecki. I could go nine tails. Gotta set up an Aurora Veil turn one. I mean, then he just takes Weather away. Uh, ch 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 I don't do this. I don't want to do this. I want to go Lando. I could go Eternatus. This. this is super, super tough. Super tough. Let's go Gyarados. Let's go Gyarados here. Bring Eternatus. And I think Scissor in the back bench is our best. I just don't think... Uh, hmm. Do I want Ninetales? Nah. It's fine. It's fine. I kind of want it, Ninetales, but I just don't see Ninetales coming in at any good chance. But I just think we were better off just using a different Pokemon besides Nine Tails. It would just be really tough. It would just be really, really tough for us to get in Nine Tails. I want the leader, but just say I leader. He's either going to swap into Kyogre or have Tornas already out on the field and just set up a redo. Yeah, see, Tornas is already out. On the field, so I think we didn't even leader. He has Tornas and Urshu in his turn one. And I get a nice big old Intimidate. I get a nice lovely Intimidate onto that, uh, onto that Urshu. So I could, I really do see it. What's it called coming out here? I, for some reason, I just see a uh, good e web, but I do see, yeah, we're definitely gonna e -web. Let's just e web, and I guess we'll drop an icy one. Hmm. Actually, nah, I'd rather just uh, take out this, uh, this Urshfu, get rid of him. Even though he might speed boost here. Probably gonna go for a tailwind, but I just wanna take this thing out. I'm honestly gonna go for that, and I wonder what he's going for. I'm gonna try to take out my Regilecki. I was gonna protect him, but then I realized I was like, was like he has an ability. That's something. Regilecki, can you eat this? I don't think he can. Mm -mm. It's too tough. It's too tough. Like, Urge Fu's too strong. Like, you can't even protect throw him. You can't even protect throw him, and that's just super, super tough. So, hit three times. Power Whip is gonna fly through here. Hopefully, it connects, right? Okay, so it does connect. It's gonna fly across. We steal some damage onto Urge Fu, and bring him down to yellow. Bring him down to yellow. See, like, protecting would have done nothing. We go into Scissor. I think Scissor is an all-day choice here. Just for sheer fact, we can bullet punch and finish off that Urshfu. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. And then I could drop uh, Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind's going to be player. Start slowing down Tornadus. Hmm. That's mm, what I'm going to do. I still think bullet punch is play. I still feel like this has a chance to take him out. Let's do that. Let's go that into an Icy Wind. Let's do it. Get him, Scissor. Scissor, you hit hard. You're a beast. You're an absolute beast. You're a beast! No one can stop you. No one can stop you, dude. Bull Punch is too strong. That's why I always love choosing into a Bull Punch. It's just super good all around. I'm gonna drop a Hurricane onto my characters. Probably get the duck, because I'm not even gonna lie. What'd I say? Yo, what I say? Luck is never in our favor. Luck is never on our side. Gets the ducks. And we get off the ice room. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Get off the ice room, and that's huge. I knew he was going to get the ducks. I never get the ducks, man. I never, ever, 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 ever get the ducks, man. I always use Hurricane, and I'm always like, yo, give me the ducks. Give me the confusion, and I never get them, bro. This guy uses them first time. First time in the battle. Gets the ducks instantly, and it wasn't even in the rain. So he had the luck to land the Hurricane, and then the even more luck to get the ducks in the Hurricane. That's rough. That's real rough. That's real rough. Okay. So we're sitting here. I definitely got a bullet punch into Kyogre. That's a, that's a must. Just in case he wants to go into a, uh, a power whip as well. But just in case he wants to go into a uh, a water spout, this will neglect a lot of the damage. But this one's just not looking good for us. It really is not looking good for us. Bull punch flies through here. Look at that damage, dude. That damage is huge. Water spout is going to fly here. And that might be able to make us eat. It makes my Gyarados eat, which I really, really like. But he's going to just hurricane me again and probably take me out. And chances are, I'm not I'm not eating up the stocks. Let's see, let's eat this up all day, Gyarados. Nope. Nope. Yeah, what did I say? I told you guys. It's too strong. It is too strong. Kyogre and Tornadus is way too strong. I told you it was going to be tough, but hey, 
You guys know the deal. We don't get swept, and we already took out the Urshifu. So that's a win in my book. That's a win in my book, especially up against a Kyogre team. Like, it's so tough to play up against these guys unless you're not, unless you're using a meta team. Unless I'm using a Groudon team, unless I'm using a, another Kyogre team, or like a team that just showcases like, that has like Rillaboom on it, or something to counteract it onto these Pokemon. But really nothing does, except for the meta Pokemon. But if you're not using them, like I'm not using them today, chances are you're not winning. It is super, super hard unless they make a mistake, but really hard to make a mistake with a Kyogre team. It really is. It really is. Cause like I like that lead right there with the Urshifu, like I can't do anything about that either. I could swap the Regilecki, but what's that really gonna do? What's that really gonna do? It's just gonna make my other Pokemon take more damage. Against are we're not eating that one up. And it's just tough all around. It is just tough all around. Unless I would have swapped into Scizor. That probably would have been a play. You should have played really, really smart. Say I would have swapped into the Scizor. Would hit me with a certain strikes, then I could have first turned priority him after a bull punch. Well, not bull punch. Oh, we survive on one wheel. We get a free foot. What is this game, dog? What you mean? We're gonna die to ducks here. Okay, we didn't. We didn't die to ducks, but still, we're gonna end up losing. We're gonna be able to de deal some good damage there. And we don't get a poison. He gets ducks, but we don't get poisons. Get out of my face. Alright, we definitely run in this one. We're definitely running this one. Actually, did we outspeed here? Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. We lost this one. Hands down, we lost this one. That's GG's. We're gonna hop into a third and final battle. Look for that winning record and just call this one a scratch. Just just know, guys. We're getting that winning record just because we lost this Kyogre team. Losing that last battle really makes me want Series 11 to come as soon as possible. Like, I cannot wait for the Dynamax format to come back, kind of shake up the meta a little bit, give us something different, and kind of give us a chance up against weather teams like that when we're not using a meta team. But, hey, I promise you guys a winning record, so that is exactly what we're going to do here in the third and final battle. We're going up against a Lugia team, and he has some pretty cool Pokemon on him. He has a Latias, he has the Raikou, he has a Swampert, the Entei, and he also has Uxie. Never seen Uxie's. Never seen Uxie. Get me hyped for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix. Loving that game. Cannot wait for it. Cannot wait for it. But you can set up the uh, Tailwind with a Latias. I think a Speed Control could be really, really good for us here. We can just take control with Regilecki. Definitely want to bring my Scizor. And I could leave Nine Tails. Just get off a free reward. Done with that all day. He has no terms of weather control. Definitely want to bring my Skizzy. And then final Pokemon. Do we want an Intimidate Mon here? I mean, he has Inner Focus with probably two of them, right? Right? Raikou. Focus, I believe so. And a lot of them are special attackers. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. how do I want to do this? Uh, la 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 la. You turn this? Hmm, or an Intimidate Mon. What the Sheens want, baby? I'm gonna go with turn this, dude. This thing just rocks out. It's too strong. It's too good. It is too good of a Pokemon. Let's bring him in here. Let's rock out here. Let's grab ourselves that winning record for you guys. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. Dude, I was so upset. When I saw it, I was just like, when I saw the second battle, when I saw the Kyogre team, I was like, bruh. It's over. It is over. Like, it's just like, you can't do anything like, up against it. And I was trying to think of a way that maybe I could have won that battle. Maybe I could have swapped into the scissor. Turn one. I probably could have done that and ate up uh, ate up some shots early on. Ate up the certain strikes that killed my Regilecki. But it's just tough. It is super tough. You guys into the Raikou and the Entei. Which I'm cool with you. Double shiny. Yo. Raikou shiny looking tough. It reminds me of uh, Diego from Ice Age because he has the Sabertooth Tiger uh, fangs. I don't even think they're fangs, are they? Because uh, Entei has them too. But I think I think the Raikus are fangs. But uh, let's get ripping here. Could just go into a straight U web here. Does that, does that thing learn Volt Absorb? Or, or uh, the other one? Lightning Rod? Oh, I'm trying to think. I think they're both in their focus. I ain't even lie. Let's have this roar wheel. Let's try to jump speed. Let's see if this thing's Voltage Orb or, or Lightning Rod. It's not. Okay, yeah, it's in I feel like it learns it, though. It might. I'm not too sure. But we're going to get a nice, lovely little speed drop here. He's definitely going to go into an EP, which I'm fine with. We might be able to eat because uh, we have the Roar Bell and it's not stabbed. Yet. So we set up the Roar Bell turn one. We get a nice little speed control going and a stopping catch control. Five, three, four. Easy eats, baby. All day, Red Lucky. All day, baby. All day. Soaking it up. This thing's going to drop a Shadow Ball, yo. That's all day, too. That's all day, yo. Easy eats. All day, Red Lucky. Soaking it up. Soaking it up. Easy eats. I could Volt Switch out. Volt Switch could, could be a nice pivot here. Could be a totally nice pivot here. But I think we double down into this thing. I mean, what do I Thunderbolt? Say I have Volt Switch. Could go into Eternatus, who should be able to soak up the next shot. 
Let me do Volt Switch. Save this Pokemon for the back end. Let's just drop a lovely little Blizzard. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's just gonna Witch all that though. With that even more. He's just gonna go straight into Uxie. Straight into Uxie. Man. Look at that Pokemon. Look at all spiffy. Looks so cool. Now, I wonder what he's gonna do with that. Volt Switch is gonna pop through here. Yo, a huge chunk of damage. Looks great. And Blizzard is going to hit 100%. With that said, I have to swap into straight into the Skizzy and go for a U-turn. I'm with that all day. I'm going to swap straight into the Scizor. I'm going to pop a U-turn right away. I'm going to pop a U-turn and probably pick up a KO. The Blizzard is going to fly through here. Yo! And off some damage on the Uxie. I'm going to get a whoo, whoo, little freeze action today. Little freeze action today. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So now I can just U-turn pivot off of the Uxie. Kill it and just uh, keep teeing off on this rock finger. I'm with it all day, baby. All day. Uxie is rocking the, those leftovers. Just rocking those left leftovers. But I told you guys, hey, you're grabbing you guys that winner. Could do Steve. It's pretty cool. These are attacks and steals the target held items on things. The user can't steal anything if it already holds an item. Okay. So if somebody takes off my item or something like that, then I can use that. And just snatch up on the right item, but we're totally going for this right here. You turn pivot because it is stab as well, so that's easy KO. And I might just Moonblast. I think Moonblast will do more damage over onto the Raikou. And it goes first, so I think it, I think that's a better call. There's a lovely little Moonblast chipping away onto the Raikou. And he's still frozen solid, man. He's still frozen. We're gonna be able to U-turn, say bye bye Oopsie, and swap it to where you turn. No, that's GG. That's gonna be GG's. This is the light work. This is gonna be the light work. Gonna be light. We still have our scissor. We still have our reg like for the back end and speed control. But I could go back into him. But I, uh, I think I can go in turn just, just in case the Raikou is sliding over and trying to hit up on my scissor. We don't bring out each other. Because if he is and I brought out the reg then reg would just die in one shot. So we'll play it smart. He turns just really, really bulky. I mean, we actually, he's not attacking. He wasn't attacking. So I should have thought of that first and, did, and actually brought out the reg Because he is frozen solid and he would be for us. That one's on me. You gotta pay attention a little bit. You gotta pay attention a little bit. But, who are you gonna bring in here? And Tate's gonna come back out here. And who's this final mark? I'm gonna have one more, and I wonder who it is. Maybe the Lugia? Maybe the Lugia, but. We just Sludge Bomb over here. And I think we just, uh, do I Moonblast? Yeah, I'm gonna Moonblast. I'm gonna make sure this Raikou goes down here. I think we still have a Focus Ash. Did we, did we get touched yet? Yeah, we still have a Focus Ash. But we don't even need it. We don't even need it. Because the War Veil is so, so good. War Veil is so good. Moonblast comes out here. Get out my face. Get him out my face. He turns just going to be able to drop a Sludge Bomb. This might be able to pick up KO. And it does indeed. It does indeed, yo. Beautiful. Beautiful, yo. He turns just hits so hard. It really does. I really wish they'd have the IMAX Cannon because that just makes that move. It's like, it just makes this Pokemon hit way harder. It's like base 120, maybe more than 120. It's high up there. And it just hits. It just hits so hard. Lugia's gonna fly through it as his final mind. Yeah, get this fool out of the game. It's gonna be psychic, so it could potentially take out my uh my turn just pretty easily. But still, I think we're fine with going into this blizzard and the slash bomb. I know my night tails will go first. There it is. Blizzard. Getting apart. This thing is tanky. That is probably multi-scale right there. It could be policy. And it is. It is policy. So he turns his micro down here if he's dropping a second move into it. See what happens. Sludge Bomb's gonna come out beforehand. And his multi scale is gone. Let's chip in. And oh, we calm minding. He calm minding. He's gonna be able to calm mind here. He's looking to just kind of clutch up with Lugia. But I just don't see it happening considering we have a one and only Buggy Bug with the Choice Band in the back end. And we still have our Regilecki. I just don't see him really clutching up here. Let's drop another Sludge Bomb. And could go for a Blizzard. I'll go for a Blizzard. Even though hail has gone, we'll try to look for a freeze. Try to get some luck out of it. We do get some luck. Give me, give me a freeze. Show it to me, baby. All day. All day. No freeze, but Sludge Bomb should be able to clean this one up and say GG's. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, yo. Light work. Was that a sweep? It was a sweep. It was indeed a sweep. We did not lose one Pokemon in that one. And more importantly, we grabbed ourselves that winning record for you guys. What did I say? I promised you guys that winning record, and we prevailed in that third and final battle. That one was for you guys. We won our first battle. Actually played really good in our first battle. Second battle, not so good. Cannot beat that Kyogre team. Definitely dominated on us. But then that third and final battle, we got a clean sweep. I don't really know what that guy was doing, but hey, we take those wins all day, and we dominate the battle. 
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.